if you guys have the chance, you should look up Zach Penn remote control on YouTube and see his long flowing blonde locks that he had back in the 90s as he's just kicking ass and trivia. That's what's crazy about this movie is that the two uh, writers are both people who through their love of pop culture uh, and obscure 80s trivia and celebrating it, like we've both like achieved the success that we have uh, uh, as a result of that. Um, and that, I think that comes across in the, the stuff that we write and the way that we you know, express our uh, enthusiasm. But I love that story because it's, it's like Wade, you know? It's like yeah. him uh, competing in a contest and that had, a, that had an effect on his early career and how he was able to get a foothold in Hollywood. So right. uh, based on like uh, music video trivia. So, yeah, yeah, or I mean, it is true. When I was a kid, my parents said, why are you reading these stupid X-Men comic books, which they thought were just dumb comics. <laughs> and, you know, I, I tried to explain to them, no, these, this stuff is really good. It's changed. Yeah. It's not like Archie or something. No offense to Archie. I'm sure it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> but when I got to Hollywood, who knew that my love of Marvel comics, I mean, I was, you know, called my mom and dad and said, like, I don't need to move home because of the comic books I read, yeah. uh, you know, or the video games I played. So, so uh, I guess that Zach's Moral of Zach's story to all those kids out there, stop going to school, just read comic books. Yeah, read comic books, play video games. Yeah. This is not the opinion of the Ready Player One yeah. team. Or <laughs> and by the way, if Warner my Brothers. kids are listening, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the one thing, and I was talking a little bit about, about something that I think is really an important theme in the story. It's something that's, that Spielberg excels at, which is this concept of, of family and, and young people finding themselves going on an extraordinary adventure and in the process really discovering things about themselves versus things about the world. So what, what's the one thing you want people to take away from this film, from this story? Uh, well, more than anything, I want people to have a, a, a good time and be blown away and have that feeling like when you went and saw Back to the Future for the first time or the first time you saw Raiders of the Lost Ark where you just walk out exhilarated and you had a great roller coaster ride. I mean, there are themes about technology and hum humans' relationship with technology, uh, but it's not a heavy-handed message movie. It's like just fun. Uh, uh, you know, and so exhilarating. Uh, but uh, but it's also a story about friendship and also a story about kind of kids banding together when yeah. adults have given up on a problem, the kids band together. That's what I love so much about uh, 80s movies and uh, like The Goonies or... Uh, uh, War Iron, Games. War, War Games or right. Iron Eagle. It's all stories about kids who can kind of accomplish anything if they set their minds... Right, and that's something that in our culture quite often, you know... People say, oh, they're just kids, they can't really do anything. And sometimes 80s movies are criticized because, oh, the adults look like idiots and the kids are doing everything. And I look around, I look at my own kids, I look at what's happening in the world now, and I'm like, yeah, maybe the kids should be doing more than they're doing because we certainly didn't fix anything. Um, so that's one of the things I really like about this is that it's, it's basically saying, it's really saying get off your butt and save the world. To a certain extent, and and that's the way I read it. Is yeah. that it's well, that's our tagline. Yeah. Uh, uh, accept your get reality. Off the, get off your butt and save the world. <laughs> accept yeah. your reality or fight for a better one. Right. Uh, uh, which is what we should all be doing. Right, but I think that message to kids, you know, it's almost misinterpreted. Like particularly in Stevens films, they don't realize that those movies are so much darker than they remember them, and they're really about kids in a tough spot figuring out. Okay, no one's going to do this for me. I have to do it for myself. So yeah. Um, good luck, kids. Good luck, kids out there. Please fix it. We're, we're ruining everything. We're, Do something. We're rooting for you. Do something.